Watch as Mother Nature unleashes the fury of her unimaginable power on the mast of cargo ships at sea. This heart-stopping footage, captured by brave souls that ventured into the storm center, brings you an exclusive look into the terrifying world of cargo ships crashing into massive waves. Prepare yourself for a journey that will leave you breathless and in awe at the force of the ocean. Welcome to cargo ships crashing at massive waves and storm caught on camera. In today's video, we'll watch ships getting hit by monster waves. Are you prepared to be amazed? Let's get started. Horrible storm in the North Sea. When you think about ships, you might assume that the bigger they are, the better they will perform in extreme conditions. You're right, but it doesn't mean they can't still take a beating. On August 16, 2021, an oil tanker traveling in the North Sea was hit by a storm. They could only wait and pray for the best. A tanker was required to sail in ballast conditions at 70 to 80 knots through a huge storm on August 16, 2021. The tanker is shown bobbing in the raging waves of the mythical sea, which has claimed thousands of lives. The storm was rated a 12 Beaufort, the highest rating possible. The winds were hurricane force and, in this case, between 70 and 80 carats. No injuries were reported, as you would expect. But those waves are strong enough to knock even the most experienced sailors off their feet. Massive waves in the Atlantic Ocean A remarkable incident took place in 2013 in the Antarctic Ocean. It involved massive waves and left a lasting impact on those who saw it. A scientific research vessel, or perhaps a cargo vessel, faced a series of large waves that seriously threatened the vessel and its crew. These huge waves, also known as rogue or freak waves, can happen unexpectedly and reach heights far above the average wave size in the region. Various factors including strong winds, unusual ocean currents, and convergence of various wave systems cause these massive waves. The vessel was at the mercy and power of these massive walls of water in this incident. It was extremely difficult for the crew to control and maintain stability due to the enormous size and force. The enormous waves made it extremely difficult for the crew to maintain control and stability. In this case, fortunately, the crew could navigate the turbulent waters and even overcome the menacing wave. The crew's experience, skills, and the robust design of the ship were all instrumental in helping them survive this encounter with Mother Nature's fury. This incident is a testimony to the powerful and unpredictable nature of the Atlantic Ocean. This incident reminds those who enter these hostile and remote waters, whether scientists, researchers, or sailors, of the dangers awaiting them. The 2013 incident in the Antarctic Ocean is a valuable learning experience, and it has prompted further research into the conditions which lead to massive waves. Researchers and sailors can improve safety by studying the dynamics and cause behind these natural phenomena. Once docked, you'll see that the waves easily toss around the ship. The crew didn't notice any serious damage, but fortunately, no one was hurt. Beaufort Scale The Beaufort Scale was developed to correlate wind speed with observed sea and land conditions. The scale has 12 rankings, with 12 being the most severe. Conditions are expected to be disastrous at this level. The waves will be over 14 meters or 46 feet high. The winds will be hurricane force. The video below was shot at the beginning of 2021. This bulk carrier is designed to transport unpackaged goods such as coal or grains. The ship was caught in a powerful Force 12 Typhoon. The Typhoon differed from the bulk carriers despite being amongst the largest ships. The ship was tossed and rolled by wave after wave. Typhoons ravaged the North China Sea in 2021. This video may have been posted when Typhoon Surrogate caught the ship. It was the strongest storm of the year. The ship was not damaged and no one was injured. The Bay of Biscay Unpredictable weather is a notorious feature of the Bay of Biscay. It is located along the French and Spanish coasts with the Atlantic Ocean. Sailing enthusiasts will be aware of the importance of monitoring any changes in the area as they can occur without warning. It's impossible to avoid it as it is a major route for trade and travel in the area. It's just a matter of praying. You can expect the seas to be forgiving while you travel across the bay. However, these wishes are only sometimes granted. A storm in late 2017 hit a passenger ferry that generated waves up to 30 feet tall. 
The winds were up to 100 knots, throwing the vessel from side to side. It was carnage on board. The passengers fell to the floor. Tables, cutlery, and other items rolled on the floor. For a brief moment, the hundreds of people aboard feared for their lives. According to the ferry operator, there was no risk to the stability. Although the ride was bumpy, no serious injuries were reported, and passengers arrived at their destination on schedule. Baltic Sea The Baltic Sea is located in northern Europe. It is a relatively sheltered body with just one outlet between Denmark and Sweden. The ocean may be calm during the summer but gradually become more violent as temperatures drop. In January 2021, this was the situation. This video shows a large oil tanker crossing the Baltic Sea. The ocean may be rough, but it's nothing compared to our listed videos. The crew is watching as wave after wave saturates the ship's deck. One wave, slightly larger than the others, crashed into the ship without warning. It destroyed several parts of its bridge. After watching the video, I wonder if the situation could have been prevented if the ship had been positioned differently from the waves. It was time to return to the land for an assessment. Everyone on board arrived safely home. The CDRY Blue Since its launch, CDRY Blue has transported containers throughout Europe and the Mediterranean. Even a ship that is well versed in the seas can get into trouble. That happened to this vessel in December 2019 while sailing in Sardinia. A huge storm developed between Cagliari, Italy, and Alicante, Spain. Waves began to crash against the ship's hull. The crew had no choice, as the 8,000-ton ship was not powerful enough to resist the currents. It was swept up into a cliff at Tor Canai and Santa de Coco. The crew raised the alarm as they approached the shoreline. Soon the Coast Guard arrived. The footage captured by the helicopter and rescue vessel shows how violent the waves were. Conditions were so bad that a rescue operation was extremely difficult. The crew evacuated, and the vessel suffered only minor damage. Salvage operations were launched to recover the cargo. Once the situation had calmed, the vessel was refloated. Navy Ship in the Southern Ocean The Southern Ocean has fewer land masses to break up the waves. Wind and storms of the Southern Ocean, a notoriously treacherous stretch of water, is where the highest wave recorded in history was measured. The lack of land in this area means that ships do not travel as far across the ocean. Those who do are in for a wild ride. The footage below was captured by a New Zealand Navy vessel in late 2015. It shows how insane the conditions can get. The HNNZS Otago, on a three-week maritime surveillance mission in the ocean at the time, found itself in a storm with winds of up to 100 miles per hour and swelled as high as 50 feet. The ship was rolling over the peaks of the waves, and when it splashed up so much water, it covered everything. During their mission, the captain stated that the crew experienced everything from clear skies to snow and moderate ice. These accidents highlight the importance of effective emergency response plans, crew training, and preventing and reducing the risk of passenger ship accidents. May your excursions always be filled with wonderful discoveries. Stay safe until next time, and don't underestimate the power of the ocean. Please share your opinions in the comment box. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and remember to subscribe to the channel for more exciting videos. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you in the following video. Until next time, remain safe, stay interested, and keep exploring.